Alright, so nandito na tayo ngayon sa second part ng ating discussion about simple interest and discount. And this time, we are going to solve another three problems para may apply natin ng gusto yung mga natutunan natin sa ating lecture. So in problem number three, we have a loan of 5,000 is made for a period of 15 months at a simple interest rate of 15%. What future amount is due at the end of the loan period? Okay, so ang pinahanap sa atin dito is yung future amount, which is F, di ba? So, let us write muna yung mga given natin. Ang inahanap is yung ating future amount. And then, given ang ating principal amount, which is 5,000 pesos. So, our P is equal to 5,000. Tapos, uh, our N is equal to 15 months. And our interest rate, which is I, is equal to 15%. Okay, so, i-drawing natin yung ating cash flow dry diagram, no? Para ma-visualize natin. So, you took a loan... Okay, at the beginning, so our loan at the beginning is 5,000 pesos. Pinahanap sa atin is yung future amount. And then, this is for 15 months. Okay, so let's say this is N is equal to 15 months. And then our I is equal to 15 months. Okay? So, again, sulat natin yung ating formula. Our formula is F is equal to P times 1 plus I N. Okay? So, our P is equal to 5,000 multiplied to 1 plus our I is 15%. So, we have 0 0.15 times our N which is 15 months. So, convert muna natin yung ating N into years, no? So, we do not have any basis here para consider yung exact um, simple interest, no? Therefore, this will be uh, based on the banker's calendar, no? Or the banker's year. Okay, so if this is based on the banker's year, so our N is equal to 15 months times in one year we have 12 months so we have 12 months here so therefore we have one year here so our n is equal to so let's check our calculator so we have um, 15 divided by 12 so, we have 1.25 years, no? So, our N is equal to 1.25 years. Okay, because our months here will be cancelled out. Okay, so, since we know our value of N, substitute natin yan dito. So, we have 1.25 years, okay? So, therefore, our F is equal to, so, check uli natin sa ating calculator. 1.25, dito pabalik tayo, no, para madali. Times 0.15 plus 1. Okay, so dito na tayo. Times 5,000. So we have 5,937.5. Okay, so we have 5,000. Okay, so let's, don't forget the peso sign. So our PF is equal to... 5,937.5. Okay? So, yan ang ating final answer dito sa first problem natin. Okay? So, yan ang ating future amount. So, let's go to problem number 4, which came out sa ECE board exam noong November 1999. So, let us read the problem first. If you borrowed money from your friend with simple interest of 12%, 
find the present worth of 50,000 which is due at the end of 7 months. Okay, so ang pinahanap naman sa atin dito is yung um, principal natin because we have the future worth which is 50,000 at the end of 7 months. No, so ang given natin dito, yung P, hindi natin alam. Okay, our uh, future amount is equal to 50,000. Our I is equal to 12%. Okay, and our uh, N is equal to 7 months. Okay, so drawing natin yung ating diagram. So we have 7 months. Okay, so at the beginning, we take a loan, hindi natin alam kung magkano, but at the end of 7 months, you have 50,000. Okay, so our N is equal to 7 months, and uh, our I is 12%. Okay, so wala tayong basis dito na date no, to consider exact um, simple interest. So therefore, we will be considering the banker's calendar. No? Okay, so this is based on the banker's calendar or banker's year. Okay, so calculate natin. Our N is equal to 7 months in which according to banker's year, uh, 1 year which is one, 12 months, Okay, we have one year, so therefore our N is equal to, so 7 divided by 12 is equal to 0 0.5833, so 0 0.5833 years. Okay, so... Here, our N is 0 0.5833 years. Okay, so ano nga yung formula natin? Our formula is um, F is equal to P times 1 plus I N. So, ang hinahanap natin is itong P, no? So, therefore, we have T is equal to F over 1 plus I Okay, so our F is 50,000. Our uh, denominator will have 1 plus. I is 0 0.12 and our N is 0 0.5833. Okay, so therefore our P is equal to, let us solve it again. So, Okay, so unahin natin yung ating denominator no, para di tayo mahirapan. So we have 1 plus 0 0.12 times 0 0.5833. Okay, so we will divide 50,000 with our answer. So we have 50,000 divided by our answer. We have 46,729.14. Okay. So, we have 46,729, tama ba? 729.4, ah, 15 na, gawin natin 15. Okay, so, don't forget the peso sign here. Okay, so, sulat natin ulit. Medyo, hindi natin dat kalimutan. Okay, so, nyan ang ating final answer dito sa ating question. Okay, so we'll now go to the third problem. So, basahin natin yung problem. A deposit of 110,000 pesos was made for 31 days. The net interest after deducting 20% withholding tax is 890.36. Find the rate of return annually. Okay, so first, we need to understand uh, kung anong ibig sabihin itong net interest dito, no? Okay, let us say our net interest is 
i net the net interest after deducting 20% withholding tax okay so binigay kasi yung value ng net interest the net interest after deducting 20% withholding tax is 890.36 so that means our interest net is equal to 890.36 pesos di ba okay so ito raw ating net interest ay nakuha nung dinadak yung 20% withholding tax galing sa ating interest amount. So, therefore, ang ating withholding tax is equal to 20% of ng ating interest. So, therefore, our net interest is equal to our interest minus our withholding tax which is 20% of our interest. So, therefore, this is minus 20% uh, of our interest. Okay, so therefore, since our I net is equal to 890.36, this is equal to, okay, so factor out natin yung ating I, so we will have 1 minus 0 0.2. So therefore, 890.36 is equal to I times 0 0.8, di ba? So our I is equal to, 890.36 divided by 0 0.8. So, our I is equal to, let us check sa ating calculator. So, we have 890.36 divided by 0 0.8 is 1,112.95. Uh, so, our interest is 1,000. 112.95. So, nakuha na natin yung ating I. Pero ang pinahanap sa atin is yung uh, rate of return annually, which is our I. Okay, so anong equation yung gagamitin natin to get the I? So, we know the interest amount and then we also know the principal natin. And we know our N. So, ano ba yung alam natin? Our principal is equal to 110,000. Our N is equal to 31 days. And then our I is equal to 1,112.95. So therefore, we are going to use our formula for interest, which is I is equal to PIN. Okay? So our I is equal to interest over PN. Okay? So... Our I is equal to 1,112.95 divided by our P which is 110,000. And this is multiplied to our N. No, yung N natin para hindi na tayo mahirapan. Our N is equal to 31 days. Okay, so wala tayong ibang basis ng mga dates. So therefore, this is based on the banker's years. Okay, so according to banker's year, uh, we have 360 days in one year. Okay, so therefore, our N is equal to 31 divided by 360. So, we have 0 0.086 years. Okay, so yan ang gagamitin natin dito. 0 0.086 years. Okay, so check natin yung ating I. I is equal to 1,112.95 divided by 110,000 and divided by 0 0.086. Okay, so our I is equal to 0 0.1176. So, therefore, our I is equal to multiplying this to 100 para makuha natin yung percentage niya. Okay? So, our I is equal to 11.76%. And this is our final answer. Okay, so hindi pa natin nagagamit as of this time yung exact simple interest and hindi pa rin tayo nakakapag-solve ng problem uh, involving discount. Okay, so that's what we're going to solve sa part 3 
ng ating series for simple interest. Thank you.